JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for February the 11th. I am Haralambos Pissuros, Head of Research here at uh, JFD. I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded higher against all but one of the other major currencies on Thursday and during the Asian session Friday. It gained the most against AUD and ZD at cut in that order, while it failed uh, to record any gains uh, and instead was found unchanged against the British pound. Now, the strengthening of the US dollar and the weakening of the risk linked Aussie, Kiwi, and Looney suggest a, deter a deteriorating market sentiment yesterday and today in Asia. Indeed, although most major European indices traded uh, slightly in the green, Wall Street tumbled thereafter with a negative appetite rolling into the, into the Asian session today. Of course, the catalyst behind the switch in investors' uh, morale was the release of the US CPIs for January. The headline rate jumped to 7.5% year-over-year from 7%, exceeding the forecast of 7.3%, while the core one rose to 6% from 5.5% instead of rising to 5.9% as its own forecast suggested. All this added credence to the view of faster tightening by the Fed, with some participants even placing bets that the committee could proceed with a 50 basis points lift off at its upcoming uh, meeting next month. The total number of quarter point hikes by the end of the year has risen as well from 5 to nearly 7. Now, although we said that a potential uh, setback in risk appetite may not uh, signal a trend, uh, a trend reversal, uh, the reaction after the upside surprise in inflation suggests that uh, we may see some more declines in the risk assets uh, for now, while the US dollar could keep uh, recovering. And uh, what adds to that view? Maybe some technical breaks in uh, some key equity indices and currency pairs. For example, the Dow Jones and, um, and AUD USD. Uh, dipped below their respective upside uh, support lines. Now, as uh, for today's events, during the early European morning, we already got the preliminary UK GDP for, um, for the fourth quarter, with the quarter-over-quarter quarter rate uh, missing its estimate uh, by a fraction. Now, both the industrial and manufacturing production rates for December slid, but not as much as uh, their forecast suggested. Now, the pound reacted very little at the time of the release, which in our view suggests that GBP traders have not touched their bets with regards to the Bank of England's future uh, course of action. So, that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 8 o'clock AM GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So, goodbye, have a great day, a greater weekend, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again next week. JFT, just fair and direct.